Good day, folks. I got another accessory here I want to show you. It's for the Mavic 2 Pro or the Mavic 2 Zoom. And what this does, it allows you to mount third-party devices such as lights, cameras, 360 cameras on top of your Mavic. So let's open it up and we'll take a closer look. So here we go here there's really not much to it you can see the color kind of blends in nicely with the Mavic 2 Pro so let's attach it and we'll see how it works so let's just unfold our drone so we can mount it so it basically just fits on just above the power button there and it just uh, clips in just like that and it uh, blends in so well you can hardly notice it there and it's on there pretty securely now ideally if you're going to be mounting something like the Insta 361 that has that quarter inch tripod thread you want to put it on before you mount it and the reason being is that when you go to tighten it up it could be off to the side like that you know and not maybe the way you want it especially if it's a light. So what we're going to do is just back it off a little bit and then we're going to use a little tool or a screwdriver and tighten it via the bottom that way now when we go to mount it it's going to be on there nice and secure and facing the right direction now personally i don't wouldn't fly this in sport mode when you have an attachment uh, this thing is on there very securely like i'm putting a lot of force if you can see that and it's not coming detached like it's not undoing those clips so you wouldn't have that kind of force on it flying up in the air but definitely take it easy you just never know right but yeah, it seems to be on there securely that uh, it falling off mid-flight doesn't really seem to be an issue. Another good purpose for that kind of a mount is a light, similar to this uh, torch light by Litra. And, uh, you know, it works really well. Uh, I use it all the time for my GoPro and different things like that. But in a situation like this, you could uh, add some extra light to your drone. If you own loom cubes, uh, they would work the same way. As you can see there, you could... Uh, really illuminate things quite a bit now if you want to add something like the rilo 360 camera or even a gopro what you're going to have to do is add a gopro mount like that there so let's just hook that up again get it to the right angle and then use a tool for the bottom just to tight snug it in now that we have that we could mount a gopro and the mavic is plenty powerful enough to carry a payload like that i've had this actually attached to my mavic air uh, with a similar style clamp so yeah so let's go out now and grab some footage with uh, extra payload on the mavic we'll see how it flies and we'll see what kind of footage we can grab Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, you can do some pretty interesting stuff, uh, even just for a simple light. You know, it's a great, simple, inexpensive way to add that to your drone. Well, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I'll include the links down below where you can maybe pick up this device or check it out further if you're interested. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next one.